about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know What's happening, everyone, and welcome back to The Van Build. If you are new here, hi, my name is Sarah. This is my dog, Toby, and we're in the process of building out our little home on wheels. If you're curious to see how it all turns out, make sure you stick around, because we show you exactly how we get it done. Today is gonna be the most anxiety-inducing day that I probably will have for the remainder of the build, and that is because we are tackling the windows and the max air fan. This means I'm gonna be cutting three gigantic holes into my van. <sighs> Fortunately, I'm not doing it alone. My friend Dylan, he was an old roommate of mine like two and a half years ago. He's coming to help me out because you need more than one person to do the windows. I can't unfortunately do that one by myself. Plus he's perfect for emotional support because I'll probably be crying and screaming and praying a little bit because this is, this is scary. But this is gonna be so much fun, so I'm excited to take you along for the ride. Meanwhile, I'm gonna grab a jacket because I am freezing. I am so cold. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ready for action. <laughs> Alright, so the box was nice enough to come with this random piece of cardboard. I'm assuming it's meant for the framing, so that's what I'm going to use it for. You want to cut that? Yeah. You want a box cutter or a I like having a little assistant around here. <laughs> oh, I need to clean that. Dylan's gonna clean the roof for me first because it's very filthy up there. Come on. Here goes. Oh my god, you're so good. How's it going up there, Dylan? Ready to go. Yeah? Let's start shredding this thing. A blow on it so it dries quicker. It's already dry. We're in like the hot, hot sun of sunny uh, <laughs> Portland, Oregon. Let's get to work, boys. Okay. Not fast enough. Okay, so we have our template measured out 14 by 14, just as everyone on YouTube says and what the instructions say. So now I'm gonna place it where I want it inside of the van, tape it up, trace it, and start drilling those pilot holes. Measuring isn't done yet, but as I've said a thousand hundred million times because I've made those mistakes, measure 67 times, cut once. Check out this really nice X to mark the center that Dylan just did. Is he an artist? Are you an artist, sir? I'm working on it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that for me. Oh, yeah. That's a fly. That's not a fly. I'm gonna put something for me. Okay, so just so you know, what a lot of people have done, they've traced this did the pilot hole here and here and here and here and here. Do you think we should just do the center? I was, I've been going back and forth with it, thinking just do the center, go on top, put it in the center, and then trace it from up there. I feel like there's that would be too many holes to try in the line. You could be crooked, but I think it's fine. I think you're right, because it would be easier to do it on the top, because like ridge, you have mm -hmm. the center line already. Yeah, just the middle. Ready? Where's my drill? Uh, yep. No, it's uh, right here. Well, yeah, but I need a battery. That's a... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> Power through. <laughs> I think you got it. Wow. Sunlight. <laughs> Shall we take it to the roof? Let's do it. Oh. What time is it? We have wasted. Don't say we've wasted. It is 159. When'd you get here? Look at the hole we got. <laughs> we got one hole. Um, you know what I realized? It's so bumpy here. I don't know how people traced it. Hmm. Ooh, 
This isn't working. Why is that? Because it's pushing out and like it's, see, like I can't even get it. traced out our template, 14 by 14, taped it all around to protect it, and now we're gonna do our pilot holes. I'm gonna let him do it. How'd that feel? Pretty good. we would just do one pilot hole on each corner, but we don't have a bigger bit, so we're doing a hole next to another hole so that the jigsaw fits in it. Are you being a good Toby Toes? Oh, did you rip up the cardboard box, Toby? Oh, yes. You're a good Toby Toes. My little assistant. Helping out so I don't have to go up and down. I thought you were talking about Toby. Nope, you. All right, so I don't know how this happened, but we have dog hair up here on the roof. I'm not sure if you can see it because I can't see it through the camera because it's so bright up here, but yep. Dog hair. Let's do this. Where's my glasses? Let's do it. Shoot now. <laughs> I did that on purpose. All right, Dylan behind the camera. After we cut the hole open, make sure you file it down with a metal filer to get rid of some of these um, metal edges. And then once you get that done, we dry fit. Let's do it. I broke this a while ago. Do our best to squeeze as much as we can out of here so I don't have to buy anymore. <laughs> nice! <laughs> and you can go over as well. Yeah, let's, let's get a closer look at that. By the way, we've been up on this roof for probably over an hour. I'm sweating. Yeah, it is hot. Remember when I said I was cold? Well, I'm not cold anymore. It's toasty. It's toasty. 100%. Look at <laughs> Now that the rust oleum had time to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this butyl tape. What I'm gonna do is go around once and then go around again on the sides or the areas where there's a dip in the roof. We've got some moves and grooves, so we gotta Move it to the groove it. Groove it to the move it. Move it so it's grooving. Wait, we gotta groove it so that it doesn't move it. There we go. Okay, so 
so my camera died, but this is what I've gotten so far. I have the beetle tape all wrapped around in the groove areas. I have it about triple layered so that it sits flush. Now I'm gonna insert this guy. So something to note, when you put this in the hole, you need to make sure that the silver pieces, there's two on each side, is facing the width side of the van. Oh, I love it so much, Dylan. Okay, so Dylan and I got a little hangry, so we had a little lunch break. Now we're gonna continue putting the fan together. We have everything done, so we just gotta screw it all in. However, we're reaching a little bit of a problem, and I'll show you what it is. What are you interested in? Give me, what give it to me. What do you want to see? Give it to me. Just tell us. It is not fitting. You don't want to talk trash about the fan. Yeah, I'm going to talk trash about the fan. But the holes on the fan to the, the frame thing that we have here, they're not lining up and it's driving me nuts. Got it. And just kidding, he just got it. Pretty sure I got it. He's pretty sure he's got it but also unget it because we need to screw this in the van first. Am I doing this wrong? We need to screw this into the van the van first. God damn, why did you say that? Apparently it's gonna work, so we're just gonna get to it. Oh yeah. So the fan comes with these three screws, a longer piece, there's a short piece that looks like that long piece but has a fat head, and then we have another piece that has a white head. Uh, Boom, there you have it. Um, the piece with the white head is gonna screw into the frame that we'll have on the inside. The piece with the fat head is gonna screw from the fan to this frame piece. And then the longer ones with the smaller head are going to screw all the way around this frame onto the van. I hope that helps. asking here because we're running out of time and we really need to get the windows done today. <laughs> Don't forget to pull the wires out and dip it in the hole before you do any more screwing. Yes. There we go. Okay, so now that we have that done, and while we're still in the spirit of cutting holes in our van, or my van, Dylan, not yours, sorry, we're gonna go ahead and start doing the windows. Hi, sorry for the abrupt ending over here. So this is Editing Sarah, and I have made the executive decision to stop the video right here. We just finished the van, as you saw, and the next thing we had to do was install the two windows in the back of my van. And it's it's gonna be a long one. We did do this all in one day, and I'm very, very proud of that, honestly. Very, very proud that I managed to get a window and, or sorry, two windows and a fan done in one day with the help of my good friend, Dylan. But uh, yeah, I really want, to dedicate a video specific to those windows. So if you wanna see that, make sure you stick around because I will show it to you next week. But in conclusion, I'm really happy about the fan. It was so much easier than I thought it would be. I am I am not a template gal. And I think you're gonna find that out very, very soon if you haven't found it out already. I, So many people trace things out on cardboard before tracing it again on the van, but like, that's double tracing, okay? You have, there's so much room for error. Why not just trace directly on 
the source. So I'm just gonna shush up and give you the rest of your day and I hope you're having a wonderful one and I'll see you next week when we do Lindo's. Okay, bye. Toby, what'd you do with it? Because I know you're playing with it. There we go. Uh,